FDA's job grows every year. It's going to continue to grow and cutting the agency or even for that matter, keeping the agency at its current level ultimately comes out the back end in terms of problems for the American people, uh, slow approval times, uh, food that isn't as safe as it needs to be. So that's, that's the message. If you can take that away, then you, you can turn me off if you want. I'll say a few more things and then I'll be done. Uh, first of the other things to know is FDA is very staff intensive. More than 80% of the costs relate to staff. Uh, there's a little bit of grant and contracting money. There's not much. And you, rent and utilities are fixed costs and have to be paid no matter what. So one of the first things that happens when budgets don't grow but responsibilities do is there aren't enough people. Uh, one of the things I won't go into in detail is FDA wound up with a cash shortage and some new responsibilities in 2007. And we've actually been able to graph, uh, thanks to a slide that was put together for a whole other purpose, what happened, which is new drugs applications started falling off of their deadlines. All drug applications fell off of their deadlines because of the problem with funding and too many new mandates all at once. It took almost two years to get back onto the pace that they had had previously. Uh, during that period, I, I talked with a small company developing a rare disease, uh, an orphan drug for a rare disease. They told me that FDA was just completely bought in on moving this drug through the process as quickly as possible. And normally that would have meant a pre-IND meeting in eight weeks or less, because FDA, it was a priority for FDA. It took four months. There just weren't enough people. So the people, the people are important. They are the agency. There is almost nothing left. If you start to cut the agency, that's what will happen. Uh, food will be less safe. Uh, I'm told I can't say consumers may die, so pretend that's not there. <laughs> uh, drugs and devices will be slower, as we've discussed, and there will be more problems with imports. Uh, the White House has said 2,100 fewer food inspections if the sequester goes through. Uh, this is the Food Safety Modernization Act. I'm not going to go into it except to tell you that we have an old antiquated risk-based system and the Food Safety Modernization Act puts the entire food safety system over a period of years onto a prevention-based basis so that you intervene before there's a problem. It is an undertaking. It's, it's comparable to turning an entire ship. It's very important. It's one of the things, perhaps not the most important to you, but it's one of the things that isn't going to get the funding it needs without increases. Uh, the two new laws um, that are relevant, one is the biologics and price competition. That's biosimilars. That's going to create competition in the $100 billion biotech drug market. That's going to take time. Uh, but more to the point, uh, uh, there's a lot been said on both sides of this issue and about what's going on. Uh, I'll report only one thing. This is a far more complicated undertaking than 99% of people who comment on it. Perhaps it's 98.9% .9 of the people commenting on it realize. This is the first really truly new drug approval process in 30 years. And even for that, it's complicated. It is going to take time, but and time in this case means manpower and money. Food Safety, uh, FDA Safety and Innovation Act, FDASIA, there's been discussion of it. You've got a huge stake in this. Three new laws, three years, more expected in 2013, and in the face of that, budget cuts. Um, not going to go into imports. I've sort of covered that. Um, now let's talk for a moment about what you do. Oh, and the foreign offices. We can go with it by that without that. But again, these things cost money. A foreign inspection costs multiple times of a domestic one. Uh, port inspections cover about 2% of imports. So got to get better stuff when they leave the current country of origin. 
here's the stuff you care about. And this is the site that in addition to the fact that there is more science coming through the pipeline, there are more applications, um, it's also more complicated than it was 10 years ago. And believe me, that's good, because it means that we're getting closer and closer to the, to the targets that matter in the diseases that each of you are concerned about. Um, I don't have time to go through all of this, but the more time and the complexity manifests itself in at least five or six different ways, all of which cost money, cost manpower, most of all, companies need more feedback earlier in the process. It's that four months to get a pre-IND meeting when ideally everybody should get, everybody with an important orphan drug should get one in two months or less. And that's all money driven, it's all personnel level driven. Uh, I won't go into this, this is a complicated chart, but what I do have for the first time is this actually documents that over the course of the last dozen years, that um, the protocols, the NDA submissions are all getting more complicated. Uh, more sites, more patients, uh, more, in, more uh, crit eligibility criteria, uh, longer studies, uh, more case reports, the whole bit. Now, I'm sure I've gone over my time, so I will just close by saying thank you. Uh, we need your help. Uh, we need both more organizations to belong and more companies, even if you don't go to the Hill on our behalf, although you will be tomorrow. Uh, I hope you understand that if I could show a staff for 250 or 300 organizations, that just makes FDA's case better. Uh, check out our web website, uh, www.strengthenfda.org. Uh, also, there's the opportunity on the website to sign up for a Friday update, uh, which not only covers the budget uh, battles on the Hill and FDA resource issues, but every week I do a short analysis uh, that helps, I hope, I hope, I sure hope helps people understand uh, what's going on and why and why it matters. Um, and also, if you do sign up on the site, we have a, a major speech being delivered tomorrow by our Diane Dorman at the FDA Science Board. I'll give a little bit of a hint. Uh, we're gonna publicly declare that the agency is at risk as it was six years ago when the FDA Science Report Board came out with a report saying that the mission of the agency was at risk. We believe it is again. Thank you.